this video we're going to look at constants and all constants are are variables that do not change. Some examples from the world of Java are math.py, 3.14159, so on and so forth. And it's just a value that you could use inside of a formula and you'd never want it to change. Anytime you're using pi, you would want it to be the exact same value. And that's what math.py allows for. Another constant in math is math.e, or Euler's number. It's just a fixed number that you don't want to change. You wouldn't want to sit down at one person's computer and have one value for e and another value for e at a different computer. It's a constant that is unchangeable. Another example comes from the font class. We have three that we're going to look at inside the font class being plain, bold, and italic. So if someone wanted to set a font to be bold, if they use the number one for that or if they use font.bold, it would always do the same thing to the font. Same thing with italic, same thing with plain. So these are unchangeable constants that if you type in 0, 1, or 2, or plain, bold, or italic, you'd always want them to do the exact same thing, and you wouldn't want them to change from program to program. An example from the color class are red, green, and blue. All colors on most monitors are derived from these three colors, red, green, and blue. And red just represents the highest color of red, green represents the highest color of green, and blue represents the highest color of blue. Again, they're constant, so they can't change, and you wouldn't want them to change. You'd want red to be red no matter what computer you're at or no matter what program you're writing. You'd want the same for both green and blue. Now we're going to show you an actual example of coding with a constant. And to do that, we're going to use constants from the byte class, the short class, the integer class, and the long class. And the constants have the exact same name, min value and max value. If you didn't notice from the previous examples, but it was true, and also with these examples, constants are always capitalized. It separates them from normal variables. It's an easy way for the user or for the programmer to understand, oh, I'm dealing with a constant here because it's all capitalized. Now, a lot of times people like to use camel case when creating variables because you can't put a space in between different words. But with constants, you can't put a space and you can't use camel case because camel case uses either a lowercase and then an uppercase or an uppercase then a lowercase. And since it's all uppercase, what's commonly done with constants is to use an underscore in between different words to separate them. So you see min underscore value or max underscore value. And you see that all of these print out either the largest value or the smallest value of a byte, short, int, or long. And you can see how this would be useful if you're trying to say, am I within the limits of a numeric integer? In this slide, we're going to show you how to assign the value to an integer, and we've done that with int max and int min. And then we've gone and printed them out. So the maximum values for integer is around 2.1 billion, and the minimum value is around negative 2.1 billion. There are actually a min and max value for float values and for double values. And we're using float min value, float max value, double min value, and double max value. And you can see the values there if you're wondering, hey, am I within the bounds of a float or a double value? Character 2 has a max and min value. And we actually converted it into an integer value to show it to you there. The zero value which is associated with the non-printing character. And so instead of showing you their character values, we've just shown you their numeric equivalent being 0 and 65,535. If you're familiar with how the character data type works with Unicode and ASCII, it would make a lot of sense that there's a numeric equivalent to its max and min. Now, what I've tried to do here is I've tried to change the max value. Let's say, hey, I want to play a joke on someone, or I just want to change the max value of an integer. And I tried to do this, it would actually give me an error, because that violates the definition of a constant. Constants are values that cannot change. The error would say something about max value being final and not being able to change it. Now in this next example, let's say that I wanted to create my own integer, and I'm going to call it max capacity. It could be the max capacity of people inside of a room or something like that. And if I were to run it right now, it would say 100. Let's change it up just a little bit and say, hey, I want to come in and I want to change it to 150. This would be a violation because constants are supposed to be values that are unchangeable. 
But if I ran this program right now, it would change because I haven't done anything to the variable to make it constant. So let's see how to make the variable constant. It's a simple addition in front of the data type, and we would add the word final in front of the integer data type. And now if I tried to change it to 150, it would give me an error because max capacity is now set for the program and unable to change. Summing up constants, a constant is again a variable that does not change, nor do you want it to throughout the program. They can be found throughout Java. We gave you examples in the math class, the font class, and the color class. They should be all uppercase, so it's easy for the user to say, oh, this is a constant, and I know you do not want this value to change. And along with uppercase, remember that camel case cannot be used, so oftentimes underscore is used to separate words. And then lastly, if you want to make your own constant, you should use the keyword final in front of the data type, and that will make the variable constant and unchangeable.